Hello and welcome to Easy Academy. In this video, we're going to be covering the latest security vulnerability that's affecting a very popular login framework called Log4J version 2. So in this video, we're going to be covering some of the things that describes what this particular vulnerability is about. Then we're going to talk about the level of seriousness that this, this, this security vulnerability poses. We'll talk about when it was discovered, how it works, who it affects, and what you need to do to mitigate the vulnerability. So that's what we're going to be covering in this particular video. Now, if you're new to my channel, please feel free to subscribe so that if I have related content or other content in the future, you will be the first to find out. You can also follow me on some of the social media platforms like GitHub and Twitter to see some of the contents that I am publishing. You can also check out my website, easyacademy.com, to take a look at some of the contents that I have to talk about. Now, normally I don't talk about security vulnerabilities, but I have a course that shows you how to use open source software to process, to store, and to analyze data. And some of that, some of those projects are affected by this vulnerability. So that's why I am covering this particular topic today. If you are looking to use open source software to process data, you can check out my course and let me know your feedback. So coming back to what we are talking about today, what is this particular security vulnerability called lock for, um, lock for Shell? So it is a zero day exploit, meaning that at the time this was published, there was no known way to mitigate this particular um, issue. So it attacks the application as a remote code execution, meaning that the code that is being executed is not from the application the attacker is able to inject that code from a remote location so this this primarily affects uh, any application that is using version 2 of the lock of the lock for j framework to lock the uh, data so that's what it's about now this is very serious in terms of seriousness so it is um, rated 10 out of 10 on the cvss scale that is the common vulnerability scoring system that the uh, the security group uses to rate the severity of defects. So this could have the potential of affecting very many applications out there in the internet. It, it, it is very serious. Now, this was discovered on uh, November 24 by uh, a member of the Alibaba cloud security team, uh, Mr. Chen. So then it was uh, notified, the Apache uh, Foundation was notified on the 24th, meaning the Log4J project. And then on December 9th, this particular vulnerability was published publicly uh, via Twitter. And then the pull request was also put on the Twitter um, uh, the, the Twitter post. So this is about 24 hours now. And a lot of people are very worried because this is the weekend and they wanna make sure that this particular vulnerability is resolved as soon as possible. So how does the vulnerability work? Like I was trying to describe earlier, it is, being um, uh, initiated by input from the user that is not sanitized. So sometimes this could be in something like a request header or some kind of input that the user is specifying and then the, the, the application is trying to log that specific um, input. Now, once, once this happens, the attacker is able to download the, the, the malicious code and then take over the system from there. If you're interested in seeing this kind of demo, please feel free to put that in the comments and I will do my best to set up the demo and demonstrate for you. But if you Google or Bing or search, use your popular, your favorite search engine to search this particular vulnerability, you're going to see how it is done. So um, this particular video is mostly focused on how to mitigate this defect and how to mitigate this, but this uh, um, security vulnerability. So that is how it works. Now, in terms of who it is affecting, there are several users that are uh, this particular issue is affecting. So if you're using version two of the Log4J framework between 2.0 beta 9 and 2.14.1, you're gonna be affected by this particular vulnerability if you're using the Log4J API and the Log4J core dependencies in your Maven uh, settings or in your Gradle settings or IV settings or any other framework you're using to manage dependency. Now, for version 1.0 of the Log4J framework, this does not affect those ones. And also, if you're using any Java version specified here, um, the LDAP vector is not um, the LDAP attack vector is not um, possible for you for um, for the vulnerability to uh, go into effect. So you may, you may be wondering why this is the case. This is because in those specific JDK versions, this particular system property was set to false. So it does not allow it to happen. And you cannot uh, use 
this remote invocation to cause something to uh, take place. Now, there are also several other open source um, Apache projects that are affected. So Apache Flink, some of the ones that I have in my course, uh, Solar, um, uh, Kafka, Dubo, some of these projects are significantly impacted because they use this framework to log what is happening in the particular applications. There are also some other projects that are not part of the Apache Software Foundation project, but um, they are being used by a lot of people. So Logstash and Elasticsearch from Elastic um, is also uh, possibly impacted by this. And then Redis also uses Log4j to log the, the, the data, and this could also be uh, um, affected. This is not a, a, a complete or exhaustive list of applications or frameworks or tools or data open source data uh, processing platforms that are affected so any pretty much any application that uses this logging um, uh, tool the specific versions that are affected and the, and the jdk versions for the environments that are supporting this application uh, if you are in that list that is specified then you could be affected so make sure that you patch your system and you update you update the the dependency version to the latest one that addresses this vulnerability so now I'm going to be talking about what you need to do to resolve this problem. To mitigate the particular issue, make sure that you immediately upgrade to version 2.15.0 of the Log4j framework version 2. And then if you are uh, using a version that is greater than 2.1, I'm sorry, uh, 2.10, and you're not able to upgrade yet, please make sure that you set the system property um, Log4j 2 format message no lookups uh, equals true and that would disable that particular issue and then you can take out the jdi jndi lookup class from the class path so in order for us to do this i have a link to the github report i'm going to be using uh, for this particular uh, issue uh, in this particular video so take a look at that github repo and you'll see the exact command you need to use to remove this particular problem so the github repo is right here so you can head out to my uh, my, my github repo is the academy slash log for log for shell mitigation and you should be able to take a look at how to address this problem so the full type uh, uh, um the full uh, type out is available at the uh, at the repo so that was everything i had to cover today please feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet and then you can also take a look at my take a look at my course and if you're you uh, if you're using uh, a lot of open source platforms to process to process data to store data my course has the content you need to make this happen thank you for your time today and i'll see you in the next video